What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE's Elimination Chamber plan for Sami Zayn vs Roman, is a Hurt Business adding another member, WWE looking to sign a top free agent, Chris Jericho reforging a WWE tag team in AEW, Zelina Vega furious and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at WWE's Elimination Chamber plan for Sami Zayn vs Roman Reigns. The top of today's news is an intriguing report about the WWE's plans for Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber. Saturday's Chamber event has the WWE Universe on pins and needles as they can't wait to see whether Sami Zayn can pull off a miracle in Montreal and dethrone undisputed champion Roman Reigns. While we don't know what is going to happen, Dave Meltzer is reporting in this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter on what was originally supposed to happen. The original plan was for Zayn to lose, Jey Uso to turn on him and the Usos vs Zayn and Owens at WrestleMania back many months, but a lot has changed since that time. Meltzer discussed the WWE's reluctance to change its plans for WrestleMania, i.e. Cody vs Roman, but noted Zayn's popularity and his impact on the ratings. The key is that Zayn has become a major TV ratings mover. Sure, John Cena was for one-time appearances and Bray Wyatt as well, and Reigns vs Matt Riddle did a big number, but Zayn is not only moving quarters big, but the entire show. Smackdown is up with or without Reigns and it's clear that Zayn is the reason why. As we previously reported, Zayn is also doing fantastic in terms of merchandise sales. The WWE's concern may be that while Zayn is enjoying magma hot levels of popularity, he may not be able to sustain it. If that's their belief, it's unlikely Sami will beat Roman at Elimination Chamber and even more doubtful whether he'd be inserted into Cody Rhodes vs Roman Reigns' Mania match. Next up is the Hurt Business adding a member. Is the WWE bringing back the Hurt Business? While the WWE has been teasing this for weeks now, it remains to be seen whether MVP Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin and Bobby Lashley will reunite. Fans will have to wait and see how things play out, but according to Dave Meltzer, there's talk of not only reviving the popular faction, but adding another member, NXT superstar Carmelo Hayes. Speaking of Hayes, it's been batted around the idea of Hayes in the Hurt Business with MVP, Benjamin, Alexander and Lashley. That was a decision and not definite, but there's been talk of Hayes coming to the main roster. It probably wouldn't happen until after April since Bron Brecker vs Hayes looks to be the main event of the first April NXT show in LA. Carmelo Hayes has become a top star in NXT, with fans speculating how much longer it will take until he jumps to the main roster. What's particularly interesting about the talk of Hayes joining is that there's been no mention of MVP's current client, Omos. The Nigerian nightmare would certainly be an asset for a reforged Hurt business, but he might tip the balance of power too much for the group. Would you guys like to see the Hurt business return? If so, who should be in the group? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, is WWE looking to sign a top free agent? New Zealand wrestler Jay White is now a free agent, with the talk of the former New Japan Pro Wrestling star ending up in either WWE or AEW. However, Meltzer is reporting that the WWE is looking to sign an even bigger talent. He discussed Jay White's prospects and noted, It's not clear what's next for White, although one would suspect WWE or AEW would be his next destination because nothing else would make sense. Those in WWE who would normally know of major acquisitions during Mania season didn't know about this one and only said there was a much bigger major free agent in play right now that was internally the priority. Meltzer didn't mention any potential free agents who are available. White has been considered a top prospect ever since it became clear he would be a free agent. Hopefully we'll have more on this soon. Next up, is an AEW main eventer looking to work with CM Punk? It's time for another edition of Anything Can Happen in the World of Pro Wrestling, as a recent tweet from former AEW World Champion Chris Jericho has some fans believing he'd be open to work with CM Punk. A fan tweeted, Watching the Jericho vs Punk match at WrestleMania 28 on Peacock now, straight banger. Ojo and Punk, if by some miracle we see you guys back in WWE anytime soon, would love to see y'all run this back. To which Jericho replied, I always love working with CM Punk. It remains to be seen if Punk will return to AEW once his arm injury is fully healed and rehabilitated. We don't think that fans should read too much into Jericho's comments as a sign he's eager to renew his WWE rivalry with Punk. After all, Jericho allegedly called Punk a locker room cancer after the reported backstage brawl that transpired after the tumultuous All Out media scrum. Next up, Chris Jericho reforging a WWE tag team in AEW? 
Speaking of Jericho, could the AEW Galaxy see the reunion of Jericho, the WWE tag team that featured Chris Jericho on The Big Show? Fightful is reporting that Jericho recently applied for a trademark for Jericho. Wrestling Inc. discussed the team's success in WWE as while White and Jericho's full-time run as Jericho was brief, lasting only from July 2009 to January 2010, it was highly successful, with Jericho and White holding the unified WWE Tag Team Championship for 140 days. Right now, Paul White is recovering from knee replacement surgery and is said he expects to be back soon. There's been a talk of White playing the Captain Insano character from the film The Waterboy. While some pundits have questioned whether Jericho would team up with White, while he's working his Jericho Appreciation Society storyline, there's always a possibility that White could join the group. Would you guys like to see Jericho reform? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE reworking plans for damage control? What happened to the rumoured six-woman tag match between Becky Lynch and Hall of Famers Lita and Trish Stratus in Damage Control at Elimination Chamber? There was talk that Trish was going to appear on the 13th February Raw and set things up for the match, but Trish wasn't there. Dave Meltzer reported that Trish Stratus was at one point scheduled for Raw on 13th February at the Barclays Centre, but it was cancelled. The reports was that it was due to Kai's injury. On paper, it sounds like they were trying to build Lynch and Lita and Stratus vs Damage Control. We were told that Stratus Angle isn't dead and that the match wasn't scheduled for Elimination Chamber. A WrestleMania would seem like the ideal venue for a match featuring two Hall of Famers. However, Meltzer pointed out that Kai and Sky defending the women's tag titles against Rousey and Baszler is still on for Mania. Whether that means Damage Control would work twice over Mania or something completely different is unknown at this point. Only that there was a planned angle for this past week to bring Stratus back that was cancelled and is still expected to be revisited at some point. The six women tag match would be a good fit for SummerSlam, assuming that Damage Control is still working together, or one of the WWE Saudi Arabia events, particularly since Saudi Arabia's sports authority like to see WWE legends. As for the rumoured Damage Control vs Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler match, it's unknown if the two teams will both work as heels going into WrestleMania. They've not planted any seeds of either team turning babyface, but there is plenty of time to do so between Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania. Next up, spoiler alert as the Elite's opponents at Revolution revealed. A time for a possible spoiler on the Elite's opponents at AEW's upcoming Revolution pay-per-view. The Elite of the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega have been busy defending their trios championship against Top Flight and AR Fox, but according to Meltzer, it appears that the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega defend the trios titles against the House of Black. This makes sense as a report from the taping of the 17th February edition of Rampage revealed that the House of Black appeared after the Elite's match, suggesting upcoming confrontation. Next up, Zelina Vega was furious over an airport encounter. Last but not least, add Zelina Vega to the list of WWE superstars trying to navigate an airport only to get mobbed by merchandise hounds. The 2022 Queen's Crown winner tweeted about a recent encounter during an airport layover. The audacity of these eBayers. If you ask me to sign something at the airport, especially on my layover, I don't know how you found me there. I do not sign all of the items you brought and you snatched the marker out of my hand. I'm never signing for any of you again. It appears that a greedy group of eBayers are making life difficult for wrestlers and making it less likely that fans will get a chance to interact with wrestlers in public. As noted before, some wrestlers have said they're always accessible, Johnny Gargano and Seth Rollins being two examples. However, there is a difference between fans looking for a selfie and or an autograph and jabronis with a stack of merchandise looking to waylay wrestlers so they can make a fast buck. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.